Hi everyone, Amy Love here and I am coming on today to share with you another fabric covered box because I can't help myself. <laughs> But I was in a Christmas swap with my friend Julie Kay and um, a box, an altered box is one of the things that we decided to swap with one another. So this is the box that I created for her. And I, I created it with some Tilda fabric I had in my stash and it's just, I love this. And actually I think I used this exact same fabric to make her um, a bag last year. I think it was last year. But I still had some more of it, and I thought I'm going to make a box with it because it's so super pretty. So I started with just a paper mache square box. I bought the pack of nesting boxes that you can get at Hobby Lobby. So that's what I started with. And then I covered it in fabric, and I, of course, cushioned the top because I just love to do that. That way you can stick pins in it and whatever you want to do. And then I broke out my gorgeous Angel Dream Crafts Kim goodies and please I don't know if you can hear Ruger he's whining because uh, daddy's outside plowing and Ruger wants to help but he isn't allowed to so he's upset about it so I broke out my angel dream craft goodies and this gorgeous pleated polka dot tool trim you know is one of my absolute favorites I put that on the bottom layer and then I put this beautiful scalloped um base it's got like several like layers of scallops isn't that pretty that's from angel dream crafts too and of course i will have a link to angel dream crafts kim on etsy below so that you can go over and get yourself some of these fun goodies and then i put a row of just the pink rosette trim which is so cute I put some Chinese braid or gimp trim right here, which Kim has a beautiful selection of in the shop. Then I put this gorgeous lace. It's white and it is so pretty. It has a decorative edging on both ends. Super pretty. So I put that all the way across. Um, isn't it? pretty 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 lace so that is from angel dream crafts also i put a battenberg doily in the background and then i created this pretty little fabric um tag uh, from a digital from Ulala la vintage treasures so cute and i do have a video showing you how i create the little fabric embellishments and i will link that below so you can go check it out then I made this adorable bow with this pink sari silk because uh, Kim is carrying sari silk in many colors and I love every bit of it and it made just a beautiful bow. And then I put this beautiful bling piece from her store in the middle and I of course on a bulb pen put my favorite little Angel Dream Crafts charm which is this rhinestone heart. Isn't it so precious? I love it just hanging off the edge there. It's so cute. You can also get bulb pins uh, at Kim's shop too. Then I created a little uh, rolled rose and put a snippet of fabric and then this little shabby pink rose on the top. And I just think it's so super, super cute. And as per usual, I did line the inside with some pink fabric and I put the uh, gimp trim around the edge just to finish it off. I think it looks so nice. Isn't that just, fabric is beautiful. And then I put this rosette um, fabric on the inside cover and I did paint the uh, inside of the box with some cream chalk paint so that, um, you know, it would be pretty too. And then uh, I do, I am going to fill this with goodies for Julie K. So I will put a link to her channel so you can go see um, the swap that I sent her and all the goodies that I am sending inside this box. And I hope you love the box. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And as always, I will have a link to all the other designers on the team below. Be sure you go and check them out. I hope you are all having a magical holiday season and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.